today we will discuss if we have a complete structure of mixed word pipe convert or anything how many ways we can calculate how many method we can use to calculate the excavation quantity for the box convert let's suppose i will draw a line here suppose this is our road and box convert <coughs> We use box convert to allow water to pass under the road. So the it's always crossing the road by sector, like you can say, any sector like ninety or in a skew, like any type. So let's say this is a box convert. There are two uh, or three method you can calculate the excavation for this one. Let's call it. The first method, let's uh, say our alignment. We have alignment like this. This is the start alignment. We will change the color. And let's say this line is the uh, center line. Okay. So from this side, if we want to calculate the Excavation value we can calculate from this side also. We can calculate according to the section of the road. Like if you want to calculate from this side, for section we will make a summary for this here. If you want to calculate from this section side, if you look through here, we will make a summary for this section. And the last one in the finish excavation. Before excavation, we take the surface in natural surface level, and after excavation, surveyor bring us the finished ground level, and we compute from here. We compute the both uh, surfaces between. So we will discuss the, these three methods. The first one is this method. From here, we will take this section. So this section is mean the front section of this from this side. And we will calculate like this. The alignment is passing like this. This is the road. Now, as you can see, there is 50 cm. Normally, we will say, uh, say general. Uh, in general, we take half meter working space for both the side. So, uh, let's make some assembly for this one. Then, the next uh, method, we will make some assembly for this side. So, we will know how many method you can use to calculate the excavation value for the cover. So first of all, I need the sub-assembly for this one. So if I draw a line over here, I will change the color so you will see. Let's make the blue. If, if I check here, we have this the center line. Okay. The center line and on the right side and on the left side this is the central line where alignment is passing and this is the left side and right side so we must take here this option if you want to show the assembly one one thing you can simply make like here like draw a line here and make assembly simple assembly for this one and take just 50 cm on the right side and 50 cm on the left side if you want to draw the complete shape like this to some time the consultant demanding to show the com complete shape like this you can also draw this but you must uh, enter a working space for both the sides so let's draw this uh, some assembly in the uh, next method we will draw some assembly for this one this side how can we come up? so I will copy this uh, I have made here. Okay. Now for the both the side, let's say this uh, here because this I take dimension from the picture, so this is not the scale. So I will just uh, draw 
the line here and on the other side. Line. Okay. So I will make some leaf for this. Actually. This is our assembly. It's the center line. So I will open the assembly composer. The, the from this line, we will take the pattern to the side slope. So to here, we will make the assembly. So let's say this is 1 meter, and this also 1 meter, and this 50 cm and 50 cm. Let's draw this one. First point is the center point. Center point means from where a diamond passing. So this uh, the, this point, this point is our center line because a diamond is passing here. It means we have profile from this level. So I will write this uh, point as a code center line. Center line is zero zero, and all the and here in the code uh, remember one thing. I just go code here as a data for the first point. It's not taking code, so the next point, if we have a uh, link in including in the point, it will take code. On the right side, let's say we are making this side, this point. So, let's assume it's on one meter on the right side. So, I will code it, it as, uh, let's say it's also a datum. On the right side, it's one meter. And when I put uh, it on the screen here, as you can see, <coughs> the, one meter. the same uh, another point linked to this one is 50 cm offset. So I will copy this code. Uh, paste here data. This uh, point is from the point number 2, 50 cm on the right side. <coughs> so, as you can see, this is 1 meter and then 50 cm. This is 1 meter here and 50 cm for the working space. As you can see here, the working space here, working space here. So now I will create left side point, more left side point. This point connect them to point number one. The code must be datum because the datum I am passing here and on the left side minus one. Okay, if I put to screen here, it's showing like this one. And the next one for the working space. Here also this the datum and it's connected to point number 4 the last point which is on the left side of this one minus 0 0.5 ok so well now as you can see the, the datum line for the both side datum line here is completed now I will, I will draw the shape of this culvert from here as you can see the pit is different you can take it like this one one here and then like completing any type of shape you can create it okay this uh, line finish now i will make this point here this one so this say uh, it's also one meter above from here are 75 centi so i will create another point which is linked to this point point number two this one so this uh, i will code is one and it's connecting to point number two about 0 0.75 cent and as you can see let's create this one again the same point here which is uh, connected to point number the i will copy this point okay and here I will uh, put this connector to point number 4 and it's 0 0.75 okay it's two walls completed now in the slope side I will create 
as you can see here so this uh, let's say the slope is 1 is to 2 like this one so I will create another point with the space here this one another point I will create which is connected to point number 6 and uh, this uh, like uh, delta x and slope suppose this uh, 1 meter and also if you see here angle and distance also so you can use the angle and distance suppose this distance is 1 meter and angle is uh, if I use 90 it will be vertical you can see then 135 okay. so uh, let's say it's 0.75 the same process for the other one 0.75 and 135 I will create another point here the point number this point is uh, point number 8 okay it's already sort of point number 7 it's uh, angle and distance 135 and 75 So click here. Okay. So 135 mean here. So just write 45. Okay. The next thing here, just link these two. Uh, right here, the top. And just link between 10 and 8 and this completes here now it's uh, computed okay so uh, like this shape now you can add a uh, hatch here but we don't need to calculate the material for this one we just want to make uh, from here the slope but uh, this slope available and so will 3d so the best thing you will create parameter and we will pass the save here the I will write box color with wings. One. Okay. The description you can write anything here and go to parameter uh, to control the parameter. For this one, a link one. If I see here, this uh, half. Central line. I will write here one meter. Uh, the display the distance from central line. I will write here. Okay, and now I will copy this one and paste here. And as you can see, if I change the value from here, I will uh, also try this here. Okay. Zero, zero here. I will take this. Also for this one. Yes. Okay. If I change the value to one point five, you will see what happened here. So, if the span of the color changing, you can control from here. Like the walls, for for walls can create another parameter right here walls also put here the range how much the height of the wall we put 0.75 so 0.75 and just go to wall here 0.75 just write the what you write here wall and for this one also wall okay 
So you change the value from here. Suppose that's this one meter height. This will change from here. 0.50. It will change according to this one. 0.75. You can change. Okay. For the working space, create another one. If it change. For here, just write one. So it will appear here in soil 3D. Wall height. Okay, another parameter is for working space. So here, working space is 0.5 and okay, copy this one. Just paste here. And here also. So the, if the working space is uh, sometime, it's considered say 0.3, sometimes say 0.25, so you can control from here. And also 50 is the standard, so you can use this one. Same like for, for these uh, two, you can use the angle, you can create for the angle, you can create uh, like this parameter. So let's save this one and check if it is working in civil 3D or not. So 5, I will save. Here and uh, box culvert. Box culvert. This is your one method. I will show this one. Let's open in the actual 3D drawing here, in which we have made cross section, or we don't need to open that cross section. Just check here. I will create an assembly here. Okay. Just create an assembly here. And then we will uh, import this one here. This method one here. As you can see, this one. Click here. And the same parameter we put there is appearing here. You can control and just click here. As you can see, okay, for the side slope, uh, just go to uh, here. The basic we have a daylight. You can use any one general. Like this, you can control your side slope. Suppose you have vertical, you can put from the properties. Go just to here from the properties, put the parameter, side slope, what you need. So this was the first method. If you you have alignment in the center of this one, you can calculate the cut uh, quantity. Cut you know, most it is cut, cut not filling. So it is the cut excavation quantity, so you can calculate by this method number one.